Hi, I'm Zachis, and welcome to our very first Deck Tech of the Week. Stay tuned. Welcome back, everyone. For this week's first installment of the Deck Tech, I'd like to introduce to you none other than my favorite archetype, Ice Age. Let's go see some replays and some commentary. So we're going to start off with some uh, Ice Age with some... Hopefully mild commentary. We'll just see if I forget or not. <laughs> right now I do have it tuned to face the mirror because there's still a lot of um, there's still a lot of this around, and I'd rather have Gigantosaur um, as a little help. So it's your typical typical Rainbow Ice Age, uh, and let's begin. Okay, here we go, guys. First game. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna place this uh, Jurassic Coast at the bottom here because these last two cards will come in. Oh, nope, we're running into issues there. We'll need to use this so we can use all three cards in a Heimdall. These two cards are gonna end up in the next round as the last two cards. Mm, see, it's a good idea we put the Giganto, we kept the Gigantosaur in here because it's gonna counter this deck. Aha! So we get to use it and it will come up. So this last card right here will pop up um, also. Uh, well, this this card, sorry, this card right here will pop up um, on the first round of the in two rounds, <laughs> if that makes sense. You'll see it where uh, you'll see it for the arts and culture round. And then these two will, so these two and that last one on the first turn, the third card will show up in my hand, as long as I'm playing three cards per turn. Oh no. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do here. So we have plenty of mana, right? Or no, not mana. This isn't, this isn't magic. We have plenty of energy to make this nice huge turn. He has minus 60 because I put the Gigantosaurus on him. So most likely, as you see, there's a high likelihood we are going to win this, this first round. We still haven't seen my Testudo, so we should see my Testudo either next turn or the turn after. Um, so hopefully we see it right now so I can use it. And my Bunyip isn't either, so we could get both. <laughs> Nailed it. So what we're going to do here is one of my favorite turns is we're going to place this lovely card that right at the end in a bunny. What this is going to do is if I lose the turn, this just cancel this just gets canceled out essentially because it'll reduce everything by three. Um, if I win the turn, it's still going to reduce everything by two and make everything only cost one extra for me in regards to uh, paleontology cards. And it looks like we're gonna lose, so we just get a free Testudo for this. Because now uh, Bunyip uh, Bunny, as I like to call him, uh, gives you an extra, uh, you get an extra reduction if you're losing. So essentially I just got plus 49 power for all my paleontology cards that don't cost an extra thing. And I just hit my Scimitar Cat. Um, so this is a pretty, it's a pretty nice turn. Uh, it's. And then now I can start throwing away this card in hopes to uh, proc. He's going to get a card lock for his third turn um, randomly. So we can hope that it's going to be something big. And um, we can hope that our next turn is just going to be much bigger than his. We're going to need to beat him by 280. So we'll see uh, what happens here. Okay, so see, these are our last two cards that we put in there, so I could guarantee we we're going to get a nice, juicy uh, Jurassic Coast in here. So we're going to play our Dire. We're going to play... This should... Hmm. We're going to go with this first. Hmm, is that enough? Is I think that's enough, right? Oh, we, we won by two. 
<laughs> just enough. <laughs> so it was a good thing that I played the Megalox or whatever its name is versus the Jurassic Coast because I would have lost if I didn't. We're going to game three now. We're gonna have our, we're gonna have both our Gigantosaur, like I said, um, in our first hand, and we're gonna be able to Heimdall, Gigantosaur, and then we're going to Emu because we can play this next turn. And then we'll receive these two as our last cards in the next round. And thank you all that are just now joining. Uh, we're doing a, a, a fun little Wednesday chill with some commentary on Ice Age uh, and climbing some ranks. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the waters and play this. Uh, actually, I think I'm just going to go for the win at this point. I think I can pull off the win, so I'm going to play a little risky uh, versus cycling my Jurassic Coast immediately. I'm going to wait um, and see if I can just pull off a uh, quick uh, last round win. Oh, Yoshi, hey, I see you in chat all the time. I think you've been on here before. Thank you for the sub. We're going to move over to the sub wheel uh, for you after this game. See, you, again, a great placement um, with the Liposaur, or Lip, the, the L word, Leo Plesrodon, uh, placed it so I could gather as many... Well, I hit all of them this time, but sometimes you don't. Uh, but it's always about placement with this. And then now we have a, almost a 600 point turn again. So, I believe um, this might be the end. Let's see what he has. Hey, Drago, how's it going? Yep, yep, I did it. So, uh, there, <laughs> there's Ice Age versus Paleo. Um, again, Ice Age, along with Astro Rockets, are among the two top meta decks going on right now. Thanks for watching. I'm Zachis. Please give this a video a like, subscribe, and comment below. Thanks again, everyone. We'll see you around.